Welcome to the National Science and Math Quiz. Today's contest between Keta Senior High School and Infantiman Girls Senior High School Salt Pond is the third of our 1A stage contests. Before we meet the contestants, let's take a message from our sponsors. Government, through an act of parliament, set up the Ghana Education Trust Fund, GET Fund, to provide funds to supplement the provision of education at all levels. We have endeavored for the last uh, seven years to reach every corner of this country and I can uh, say uh, without any fear of contradiction that uh, there's not a, a corner in this country that we have not got at least two, three projects going. All the seven public universities, ten polytechnics, the 24,387 primary schools, 7,423 junior high schools, 493 senior high schools, but 38 colleges of education have undergone a period of renaissance and rapid face lifting. Needless to say, the Ghana Education Trust Fund has paid its dues in that direction. Keta Senior High School is on my left and is represented by... Ketuku Yaira, SS3. Ellis Agumablo, Form 3. Abu Flare Lali, SS3. You are welcome, gentlemen. On my right, we have Infantiman Girls Senior High School, represented by Nafisa Zijima, SS3. Nans Mensa, SS3. Mirahil Sam, SS3. You are welcome, ladies. The contest comes to you in five rounds. We begin with the first, the round for fundamental concepts. The questions in this round are very simple. We'd just like to find out your knowledge of basic principles in science and mathematics. When you get your question, you have 30 seconds in which to provide a response if calculations are involved, and 15 seconds if there are no calculations involved. The correctly answered question fetches three points. Let's start on my left with Keta Senior High School. Complete the statement. If work is done by a force, when the force moves an object through a displacement, then work is done by a torque when it moves an object through blank. Yes, Yaira? A rotation. An oh. Angular displacement. You had one attempt. I'll give you two out of three. Yes, the proper answer is the angular displacement you mentioned, but that was the second attempt at that point. Infantile and girls, fill in the blank. One attempt. An electric guitar transforms blank into electric current. Yes, Nancy. Sound energy. I'm passing this on for a bonus. Yes, the lolly. Charges. No, not charges. The right answer is mechanical vibrations of the strings. Vibrations of the strings. Your own question in one attempt. Give one method by which 
bond angles can be determined. Yes, the lally. Let's read diffraction. Yes. Infants and girls, one attempt. To compare polarity of organic molecules, which parameter can be used? Yes, Marahil. Dipole moments. Yes, dipole moments. One attempt. Name the two major lymph vessels that return lymph to the bloodstream. Yes, the lally. You have the jugular vein and the left subclavian vein. That's incorrect, and so for a bonus. Yes, Mira Hill. The thoracic duct and the right lymphatic duct. That's correct. <laughs> Fantasman girls, now your own question. Name the two blood vessels that have receptors for detecting high concentrations of CO2 in the blood. One attempt. Mira Hill. Pulmonary artery and pulmonary vein. That's incorrect. Yes, the lally. You have the carotid artery and the aorta. That's correct. Okay, for the next pair of questions, when I get to you, I will give you some options and then you tell me which of the options is the odd one out in one attempt. All right. So, Keta Senior High, your options are sine, gradient, cosine, and tangent. Yaira? Yeah, yeah. Gradient. Gradient is right. Your options, in fancy man girls, 16, 64, 125, and 81. Yes, Mary Hill. 125. Yes. For the next pair of questions, we are going to alternate. We are going to alternate. So it's the same question. When I get to you, you tell me an answer. Then I come to you, and you tell me a different answer. All right? OK. All of this in one attempt. Name one temperature scale, anyone. Yes, Yaira? Kelvin scale. That's fine. <laughs> yes, Nafisa? School. Fahrenheit is also right. <laughs> Two elements, A and B, have atomic numbers 20 and 26. Which of the two is not a transition element and why? Yes, Yaira. Is the A. Because for a transition element, it must have a partially filled d orbital. But the A, the electrons that does not enter the d orbital, so it is not a transition element. Yes. Infancy man girls, your question to be answered in one attempt. Which of the elements, Q and R, is an inert or noble gas and why? The atomic numbers of Q and R are 10 and 17 respectively. Yes, uh, Nafisa. It's Q. This is because it has a f um, fully filled, it has octet number, like eight number of electrons filling its outer electrons, its outer, outermost shell. So therefore, it's fully filled and yes. it cannot. Keta, what are literal organisms? Yes, uh, Ernest. These are living organisms found in the, in the intertidal zones. Yes, in the intertidal zone. <laughs> All right. Organisms that live on the seashore are found in different zones, some closer to the sea, others further away. What is the main factor that determines the zonation of organisms on the seashore? 
Yes, Mira Hill. The tolerance of the organism to high tides and low tides. Try again. Yes, Nancy. The tolerance of the organism to salinity and then duration, that, the n amount of time it can spend in water. One. For mentioning the water at the end there, that's why you're getting one. It's actually determined by the degree to which the organisms can tolerate desiccation, not salinity, desiccation, drying out, so how much they can stay away from the water. That's the end of the first round. Government, through an act of parliament, set up the Ghana Education Trust Fund, Get Fund, to provide funds to supplement the provision of education at all levels. We have endeavored for the last uh, seven years to reach every corner of this country. And I can uh, say uh, without any fear of contradiction that uh, there's not a, a corner in this country that we have not got at least two or three projects going. All the seven public universities, 10 polytechnics, the 24,387 primary schools, 7,423 junior high schools, 493 senior high schools, but 38 colleges of education have undergone a period of renaissance and rapid face lifting. Needless to say, the Ghana Education Trust Fund has paid its dues in that direction. At the end of the first round, Infantsuman Girls Senior High School has 14 points, Keta Senior High School has 18 points. <laughs> the contest is closed. We continue with round two, our round for applied science. Questions in this round are more applied than what you've seen. What we'd like to find out is how well you apply concepts like the ones in the first round to understanding and explaining certain physical phenomena that occur all around us. Correctly answered questions fetch three points. Wrongly answered questions are passed on for a bonus, but in this round, partial credit is very possible for partially answered questions. Good luck. Let's begin on my right with infantsman girls. Your question. Find the equation of the line perpendicular to the line y is equal to 2x plus 5 and passing through the point A with coordinates negative 2, 1. Nancy. 2y is equal to negative x. That's correct. <laughs> Keta, find the equation of the line through the point B with coordinates 2, negative 1, and parallel to the line 3x minus 2y is equal to 4. Yes, Yaira. 3x minus 2y plus 8 equals 0. Try again. Yes, Delali. 3x minus 2y minus 8 is equal to 0. Yes. <laughs> Infantsman girls, what are eddy currents and why is it important to prevent them in transformers? Yeah. Yes, uh, Nafisa. They are the currents that are produced in a metallic block when there is a change in magnetic flux linkage. And this produces damping and heating effects. So they result in a loss of energy. In a, in a Add something. <laughs> Two out of three. Yes, eddy currents occur in conductors that are within a changing magnetic field. They occur as a result of Lenz's law. They create an opposing magnetic field in these conductors. Okay? If you have them in a transformer, it leads to loss of electrical energy in the form of heat. All right, Keta, explain why a thin metallic foil was used in Rutherford's scattering experiment. Yes, Yaira. In Rutherford's scattering experiment, um, alpha particles were made to 
bombard uh, the fuel. Now, if, if the metallic fuel is, is very thick, it means that the alpha particles cannot penetrate, and the effect of the, uh, the cathode ray cannot be felt. But when it is thin, it means they can penetrate through it, and the effect can be seen. Two out of three. Yeah, you're at the effect of which cathode? <laughs> yes, the foil had to be as thin as possible. Ideally, it had to be a single layer of atoms, right? Because the experiment was to determine the passage of these particles through the foil. So if you have a very thick foil, then it will absorb the alpha particles and you won't see any particles coming out of the foil. How is rapid forward movement of a bony fish like tilapia achieved? Marahil. It's by the side-to-side -side lashing of the, the pectoral fin, I mean, the tail fin, with the pectoral fins close by the sides of the fish. Also by the, contraction, also by the contraction of the blocks of muscles on each side of the fish. Yes. How is tilapia able to change direction when swimming? Yes, Ernest. When, when uh, tilapia wants to change direction, it stretches out its pectoral fins in one direction, and the side to which it is stretched, there's a slow movement of water on that side, so it moves towards that side, that direction. Yes. <laughs> what is the simplest way you would test for HCl gas in the lab? apart from using the litmus test and smell. Yes, Nancy. You bring a test tube of concentrated ammonia solution, and the, when, where the gases meet, dense white films of NH4Cl will be formed. Yes. <laughs> Keta, in one attempt, how would you test for hydrogen gas in a jar? Yes, the lolly. You, you bring a glowing screen near the gas uh, jar containing the hydrogen and a poop sound will be heard. A what? A poop sound. A poop? A poop sound. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's true. Even though... <laughs> the last time I heard it was a pop sound, not a poop sound. Anyway, it all depends on how well you can hear, I suppose. Next pair of questions. When I get to you, what you will do is find the general term or nth term of the sequence. So when I get to you, I'll give you a sequence. You tell me the general term or the nth term of that sequence. And we are starting with you, in fancy one girls. Your sequence, 2, 7, 12, 17. Uh, Mirahil. UN is equal to 5N minus 3. That's correct. Your sequence, negative 5, negative 2, 1, 4, and so on. Here's the lolly. UN is called 3N minus 8. That's correct. <laughs> Explain why nuclear fusion can only be achieved at very high temperatures. Yes, Nancy. Nuclear fusion in... Um involves the bringing together of two nuclei. Now before the nuclei can be brought together, there are, there's a lot of um, forces that have to be overcome. There's repulsion between the electrons and there's also repulsion between the nuclei. So it means that a very large amount of energy will be needed to be able to bring the two nuclei together. Well done. <laughs> the atmosphere of the Earth is dense, close to the surface of the Earth, but reduces when the altitude increases. Explain why this is so. It's your hand up, Yaira. Go ahead. Now, uh, the, the, earth, the, earth, the atmosphere of the Earth is exposed to radiations from the sun, as the sun's rays. Now, when uh, the places closer to the, 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 higher, uh, the sun are of higher temperature, so this reduces the, uh, the density of the the, uh, the gases over there, but those close to the earth are of lower Try temperature. Again. For a bonus, yes, Nancy. And um, the atmosphere or the air is made up of a lot of gases. Some of them are light and others are heavy. 
So now the, the light gases will be um, near the surface of the earth, like carbon dioxide and oxygen. While the lighter ones, like, like hydrogen and the rest, will be up. So you see that as you come down towards the earth's surface, the atmosphere will become denser. No, no. This particular question has to do with gravity, the way gravity works, okay? The force of gravity attracts molecules of the atmosphere towards the center of the Earth. The force of gravity is an inverse square law, as you know, right? You have that inverse square relationship. So the molecules that are closest to the surface and hence the center of the Earth will experience the strongest force, and few of them will be able to escape. So they will be forced to remain close to the surface. On the other hand, if you have greater elevations, the force of gravity on the molecules is much less, and so there are fewer molecules and at very high altitudes. In fact, some of these molecules have enough energy to drift into outer space. Did you know that? All right. Next pair of questions. Infantsman girls. Platyhelminthes have a body that is flattened dorsoventrally. What do you think is the advantage of this? Yes, um, most platyhelminthes are parasites. Therefore, they need a flat, or do, uh, they need to be dorsoventrally flattened so that they'll have a large surface area that there can be easy diffusion of, easy um, movement of um, substances into and out of their bodies. Okay. <laughs> yeah, specifically. Those substances are for the gaseous exchange gases and also for food. All right, Keta. Centipedes have a flattened body. What do you think is the advantage of this? Yes, Ernest. This enables them to go into the sand. And also they can also kill up. The avoid. Try again. I'm passing this on for a bonus. Yes, Nancy. Um, centipedes hide in crevices under rocks and other things, so that they need to be thus eventually flattened, so that they can fix into their hiding places. Yes. <laughs> Stones and crevices. That's the end of round two. Government through an act of parliament, set up the Ghana Education Trust Fund, Get Fund, to provide funds to supplement the provision of education at all levels. We have endeavored for the last uh, seven years to reach every corner of this country. And I can uh, say uh, without any fear of contradiction that uh, there's not a, a corner in this country that we have not got at least two or three projects going. All the seven public universities, 10 polytechnics, the 24,387 primary schools, 7,423 junior high schools, 493 senior high schools, but 38 colleges of education have undergone a period of renaissance and rapid face lifting. Needless to say, the Ghana Education Trust Fund has paid its dues in that direction. At the end of the second round, Keta Senior High School has 32 points. Infantman Girls Senior High School has 36 points. The contest is very close, but before we continue, I have something for you viewers. I have ignored you for some time. My challenge to you involves your knowledge of crocodile biology. Yes. The term crocodile tears is often used when someone pretends to be sad about something when that person is not really sad. How did this expression come about? Go and find out, debate with your colleagues, have an answer ready because next time we'll tell you how the expression came about. That's my challenge to you viewers. Round three. Contestants, round three is our problem of the day. So far, the questions you've seen have not demanded much of your time, 30 seconds at most. The problem of the day is expected to keep you a little more busy. 
So we expect that you should be able to answer it in three minutes. So from the time I ask you to begin, you have three minutes in which to present an answer. The problem of the day is worth 10 points. Let's turn over our sheets and read the problem of the day together. Problem of the day. A motorboat has a speed of 40 kilometers per hour in still water. It takes the boat the same time to travel six kilometers with the current as it does to travel four kilometers against the current. Find the speed of the current assuming it is constant. That's our problem of the day. Good luck, you may begin. an act of parliament set up the Ghana Education Trust Fund, GET Fund, to provide funds to supplement the provision of education at all levels. We have endeavored for the last uh, seven years to reach every corner of this country and I can uh, say uh, without any fear of contradiction that uh, there's not a, a corner in this country that we have not got at least two, three projects going. All the seven public universities, 10 polytechnics, the 24,387 primary schools, 7,423 junior high schools, 493 senior high schools, but 38 colleges of education have undergone a period of renaissance and rapid face lifting. Needless to say, the Ghana Education Trust Fund has paid its dues in that direction. Please send a representative from your school to present your solution on the whiteboards. Contestants have presented their solutions. Before we award the marks, let's look at the ideal solution from our consultants. This is a problem in relative velocities. Let's start by calling the speed of the current x kilometers per hour. So with the current, the resultant speed will be 40 plus x kilometers per hour. We also understand that time is given by distance over speed, and so the time for the traveling six kilometers with the current is six over 40 plus x. Against the current, the resultant speed is 40 minus x kilometers per hour. So the time for traveling four ki kilometers against the current is four over 40 minus x. But we know that the times are the same from the problem. So we set these two equations together. 6 over 40 plus x is equal to 4 over 40 minus x. Now we solve this problem systematically. And we should get 10x is equal to 80. And so x is 8. The current speed is 8 kilometers per hour. Infants and girls. Your solution was extremely difficult to understand, but you try to calculate from, for some relative velocities. For that, we'll give you one point. <laughs> Ketcher Senior High tried a slightly different method from what our consultants did, but the thinking was uh, really the same. Uh, since there are many ways of skinning the proverbial cat, we shall give them a perfect score. <laughs> That's the end of the problem of the day and the end of round three. Let's begin round four. 
Most questions in this round involve calculations. So when you get your question, you have 30 seconds in which to present an answer. Should the question not involve calculations, you still have 15 seconds in which to provide that answer. A correctly answered question fetches three points. Let's start with Keta Senior High. Your question. Find the volume of the solid generated when the area under the curve y is equal to 5x squared between x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 2 and bounded by the x-axis is rotated completely about the x-axis. Yes, the lolly. 155 pi cm cube. Try again. Yes, Ernest. 775 pi cm cube. For your answer, the lolly, I'll give you two out of three. Yes, there were no units, right? So the right answer is 155 pi. All right, infantsman girls, find the volume generated when the area under the curve y is equal to x plus 2 between x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 2 and bounded by the x-axis is rotated completely about the x-axis. Yes, Nafisa. 6 pi. Try again. Yes, Nancy. 12 pi units cubed. No. One more chance. Yes, Nafisa. 4 pi units cubed. That's incorrect for a bonus. Yes, Yaira. 44 by 3 pi. Oh, dear. No. The right answer is 56 pi over 3. Next pair of questions. In one attempt, please tell me, with which of the following organisms would you associate pyrenoid? Pyrenoid. Your options. A, Chlamydomonas. B, Amoeba. C, Rhizopus. D, Trypanosoma. And E, Plasmodium. Yes, Delali. Chlamydomonas. Yes, that's correct. With which of the following would you associate suberin? You have one attempt to pick from these options. A, xylem vessels. B, phloem cells. C, chloroplasts. D, guard cells. And E, cork cells. Yes, Mirahil. Cork cells. Yes, cork cells. <laughs> Two objects are in outer space. One of the objects is massive with a mass M. The other object has a mass of 10 kilograms. What is the acceleration experienced by the massive object when the small object is 10 meters away? The universal gravitational constant is 6.7 times 10 to the negative 11 Newton meter squared per kilogram squared. Distances, of course, are measured from the centers of mass. Here's the lally. 6.67 times 10 to the power minus 13 meters per second squared. Try again. Yes. Yeah, you are. 6.7 times 10 to the power minus 12 meters per second squared. Yes. <laughs> Two objects of equal mass are in outer space and are separated by a distance r. If each mass experiences a force of 1 times 10 to the power 3 newtons towards the other, what is the square of the distance between the masses? Each mass is 1 times 10 to the power 3 kilogram. The universal uh, gravitational constant is 6.7 times 10 to the negative 11 newton meter squared per kilogram squared and the distances are measured from the centers of mass. Yes, Nancy. 6.7 times 10 to the power negative 8 meters. One more chance. Yes, Nafisa. 
6.7 times 10 exponent negative 5 meters squared. Meter squared. Two out of three. For Nancy, your answer was the wrong unit. Okay? The right answer is 6.7 times 10 to the negative 8 meter squared. All right, Keta, evaluate. Cosine of 5 pi over 12. For a bonus. The right answer is root 6 minus root 2 all over 4. Infants and girls, your question. Evaluate tangent of pi over 12. Yes, Nancy. 1 over root 3. Try again. Yes, Nafisa. Root 3. Last chance. Yes, Mary Hill. And 60. No. For a bonus, yes, the lally. Two minus root three. That's correct. <laughs> Aluminium carbide reacts with water to give the hydroxide and methane. Please give me a balanced equation for the reaction. Here's the lally. Al4 C3 plus 12 H2O going to 3 CH4 plus 4 Al into bracket OH3. For a bonus. <laughs> the right answer. Al4 C3 plus 12 H2O going to 4 Al OH3 plus 3 CH4. Now, fancy man girls, ion 3 hydroxide reacts with hydrogen sulfide, hydrogen sulfide gas, to give ion 3 sulfide and water. Please give me a balanced equation for the reaction. Yes, Mira Hill. Fe2O, Fe2 into bracket OH3 plus 3H2S going to Fe2S3 plus 3H2O. Try again. Yes, Nancy. 2FeOH3 plus 3H2S going to Fe2S3 plus 6H2O. That's correct. <laughs> Give me three features of root hairs that enable them to function efficiently. Yes, the lally. Root hairs are, they have a large surface here to increase the absorption rate. And also they have xylem vessels in them which helps to conduct water. And also, they have... One out of three. Because of their shape, yes, they have a large surface area. That's what you had right. You could also have told me that they have thin cell walls and they have large vacuoles into which water can enter. All right. Infants and girls, the nasal cavities and trachea ensure that only clean air enters the lungs. Name three of their features that ensure that this is done efficiently. Yes, Nancy. Um, they are highly vascularized so that there is heat in the nasal cavity which kills um, microorganisms in the air. And then there's also hair that traps dust particles from the air. And then there's mucus that um, carries dirt away from it. That traps dirt, sorry, in the air. Two out of three. <laughs> yes, their hairs are the entrance of the nasal cavity to trap large dust particles. And yes, there's mucus in the nasal cavities and trachea to tra trap dust particles. The last one is that there are cilia in the trachea that beat upwards, carrying dust particles away. Last pair of questions. A winch is used to pull a crate of mass 25 kilograms up a 45 degree incline. The crate moves through a distance of two meters up the incline. 
What is the change in gravitational potential energy of the crate? You may assume that friction is negligible and you may leave your answer in terms of a square root. Acceleration due to gravity, as usual, is 10 meters per second squared. Yes, Ernest. 250 root 2. Last chance. Yes, Yaira. 500 root 2. For Ernest's answer, you get two out of three. So the right answer is 250 root 2 joules. And fast one, girls. A crate of mass 25 kilograms is sliding down a frictionless incline of 45 degrees. If the crate starts from rest, what will be its kinetic energy after it has traveled the distance of two meters down the incline? You may leave the answer in terms of a square root and take acceleration due to gravity to be 10 meters per second squared. Super. Yes, Nafisa. 250 root 2 joules. Yes. <laughs> and that's the end of the fourth round. Government, through an act of parliament, set up the Ghana Education Trust Fund, GET Fund, to provide funds to supplement the provision of education at all levels. We have endeavored for the last uh, seven years to reach every corner of this country and I can uh, say uh, without any fear of contradiction that uh, there's not a, a corner in this country that we have not got at least two, three projects going. All the seven public universities, 10 polytechnics, the 24,387 primary schools, 7,423 junior high schools, 493 senior high schools, but 38 colleges of education have undergone a period of renaissance and rapid face lifting. Needless to say, the Ghana Education Trust Fund has paid its dues in that direction. At the end of the fourth round, Infantsman Girls Senior High School has 50 points. Keta Senior High School has 54 points. <laughs> this contest is too close to call at this point and will definitely be decided in the final round. Round five comes to you in two parts. For the first part, I'm going to be throwing some statements to your schools. When you get your statement, please consider it and let me know whether the statement is true or false. If you answer correctly, you get two points. If your answer is incorrect, you will lose a precious point. You may choose not to answer, in which case your statement is passed on for the full two points. Good luck. Let's begin the first part of round five. On my right, with Enfantsman Girls, your statement. Color blindness is caused by a recessive gene born on the X chromosome. Yes, Nancy. It's true. Yes, it is. <laughs> Keta, atoms become smaller as we, grow, we go across a period in the main group elements because nuclear charge increases. Yes, Yaira. True. Yes, it's true. <laughs> All right, Infantum and girls. Sine is equal to 1 over, over cosecant. Yes, Nancy. It's true. It's true. Yes, it's true. <laughs> People with the resource positive factor can receive blood from resource negative people. Yes, Elali. It's true. Yes, it's true. <laughs> Infantum and girls. The coefficient of kinetic or dynamic friction is always greater than the coefficient of static or limiting friction. Yes, Mara Hill. It's false. Yes, it's false. <laughs> Log to the base A of A to the power X is equal to X. Yaira? It's true. Yes, it's true. <laughs> Infants and girls, 
The most abundant RNA in the cell is messenger RNA. Yes, Mary Hill. It's true. Yes, it's true. <laughs> the fluorescence of certain compounds can be used to detect the presence of radioactive emissions. Is your hand up? Okay, Yaira. It's true. Yes, it's true. <laughs> Catalysts work by increasing the number of collisions per second among the reactant molecules. Nancy. It's true. No, Nancy. The nucleus of an atom has no charge. That is, it's neutral. Yaira. It's false. It's false. It's false. It's false. It's false. The last part of round five. I'm going to ask you to solve some riddles by providing you with clues. If you're able to solve the riddle on the first clue, five points. If you solve it on the second clue, four points. If you solve it on the third or any clue after that, three points. When you are ready to solve a riddle, you must alert me. You do so by ringing your bell. May I hear your bell? Take Keta. Thank you. And yours, infants and girls. All right. When you ring the bell, it means you have a response ready because I will not wait for a response. Let's begin with the first riddle. I am a source of and a destination for certain types of electromagnetic radiation. Indeed, it's only because I exist that human beings can derive the benefits of communication at the speed of light. My currency is electrons, but I have no interest in their traveling, but only in their vibrations. I have many different forms, but commonly I look like a long metal drying line or a rigid metal pole. Yes, and fans and girls. Go Opti ahead. Optical fiber. No. <laughs> Keta, for your benefit, we continue. Without me, your radio would be a useless box giving out only noise. So who am I? Yaira? Electromagnetic waves. No. <laughs> Antenna is right. I am a structure associated with only flowering plants. I come in different forms and sizes. I may be soft and fleshy, hard and compact, or dry and fibrous. Yes, Keta. Pericarp. Pericarp. <laughs> to some, I am a first class citizen. To others, I am inferior or a second-class citizen. Whichever way you look at me, I am a well-blended mixture. Sometimes, the so-called impurity in me gives me special qualities such as hardness, strength, or sheer beauty. Modern technology owes me a lot of gratitude. Just look at the bodies of all kinds of vehicles, aeroplanes. Yes, go ahead. Alloy. Alloy. Three points for that. Final riddle. I am a function with domain N, the set of natural numbers. With me, no one jumps the queue and has his own position. In a way, I'm a set of numbers. I may be defined by a formula or by a recurrence relation. I may be linear or exponential. Go ahead. Uh, sequence or series. Sequence and series. What does that mean? Sequence. <laughs> it's a sequence. Government, through an act of parliament, set up the Ghana Education Trust Fund. Get Fund to provide funds to supplement 
the provision of education at all levels. We have endeavored for the last uh, seven years to reach every corner of this country and I can uh, say uh, without any fear of contradiction that uh, there is not a, a corner in this country that we have not got at least two or three projects going. All the seven public universities, ten polytechnics, the 24,387 primary schools, 7,423 junior high schools, 493 senior high schools, but 38 colleges of education have undergone a period of renaissance and rapid face lifting. Needless to say, the Ghana Education Trust Fund has paid its dues in that direction. At the end of the contest, the final scores are Infantman Girls Senior High School, Salt Pond, 60 points. Keta Senior High School, 64 points. <laughs> Infantman Girls, you did well. Unfortunately, we have to say goodbye to you. All the best. Keta Senior High School, congratulations on winning this close one. You have a place in the next stage of competition. All the best with your preparations and see you. Viewers, thank you for joining us for this exciting, exciting, exciting contest. I hope you are planning to be with us next time when we bring you the fourth of our 1A stage competitions. That contest is going to be between St. Augustine's College Cape Coast and Tamale Senior High School. Thank you again and goodbye.